And there are so many different ways to enjoy Thunder over Louisville this weekend. We are here live uh, at the Galt House in the Command Center all morning. And of course, we're going to begin with one area you're going to wish you had a spot. Maybe next year you can. It's right here at the Galt House. And I'm with Greg Mann, uh, the head of food and beverage here at the Galt House. Right. Take us through my next dream Thunder party because there are really a lot of big groups will come in or even private parties and and really have an experience here. There sure are. We have uh, we really have something for everybody. So uh, this year we have a, a sold out event at our Swizzle Dinner and Drinks. We have a sold out event on our pool deck. Uh, the conservatory area is an excellent place to watch the air show, especially this weekend. Hopefully weather's better than it's looking. Uh, but it's a good place to watch the air show inside. But we do absolutely have something for everybody. Uh, we also service roughly 70 to 80 suites and apartments. Uh, suites very similar to the room we're in right now, uh, but then apartments in our other tower that have the direct view of, of the fireworks. And honestly, it, it is so close, it blows your hair back. So yeah. it's uh, we have something for everybody for I sure. Always, you know, uh, once I was up here covering it for news, and I tell you, just the view from up here, I said to the photographer that I, I was with, and I'm like, this is the best spot to enjoy thunder. And you, I know you guys would agree, and people kind of what plan a year out or even longer? to be up here? Absolutely, for sure. A year out, um, sometimes even longer. I mean, starting really Sunday, people will start calling about next year, uh, which is what we want, you know, right? That's uh, There is no better place to be because if the weather's nice, you can still get outside, you still have access to the hotel. If the weather's bad, you can stay warm, better. you can go yeah. out on a balcony if you have one and watch the show for the 30 minutes and, and and then come back in to be warm again. So we have a little bit of everything. Here at Great Day Live, we've been doing a series of stories with the Galt House. Yeah. And one thing that we've been kind of showcasing is your massive renovation, right? Like everywhere you go, from the suites to the different areas to the restaurants, people are going to get to enjoy a new upgraded experience. Yeah, so we have seven different restaurants and bars throughout the hotel. Every one of them has been renovated and, and touched or reconcepted or new restaurants. So uh, we do have something for sure, like I said, for everybody. Uh, but every part of this building has been touched. Um, our grand ballroom just finished its renovation about a month ago. So at this point, every room, every corridor, every restaurant, every bar, uh, every uh, banquet room has been touched. Yeah. Those ballrooms are going to be beautiful for many of the uh, derby galas that you're going to have here, right? Absolutely. We have one this uh, evening. Uh, we have the, their off lunch to really kick off yeah. the, the derby festivities tomorrow. We have another gala tomorrow night, and then we're going to finish off the weekend with uh, with Thunder Over Louisville. So yeah. we're, we're excited. It's the season. I know you're excited about it. Thanks so much. Well, you know, the Galt House is just one place that you can enjoy everything that's happening here uh, at Thunder. But the other really popular one for, for many, many thousands and thousands of people is, of course, the waterfront. And Amy Boyd is with the Kentucky Derby Festival to tell us all about that, right? Oh, what a view, Amy. I love it. I know you guys are excited about it. Yes, beautiful view. We'd love to keep this weather around through Saturday, so keeping our fingers crossed. And when you come down to Thunder, there's not really a bad spot to see the show. There are places all along the waterfront. Things start opening up around 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. And where you sit really depends on who you're coming with. You know, are you coming with your family? Are you coming with just some friends? So we have our Thunder Chow Wagon opens up at 11 o'clock. That's where we're going to have live music all day. There's our beer garden, food fest right in the middle of the show, kind of a party atmosphere. So that's, you know, you want to go with your friends, your buddies, that's a great place. If you're coming with your kids, we have the Meyer Family Fun Zone, and that's further east on the Big Four Bridge Lawn. So that's kind of out of the masses. Yeah. Lots of kids' activities, face painting with Meyer, um, bounce houses. So perfect to entertain the kids all day when you're down here for the show. Uh, we also have the North Great Lawn. You come put out a 10 by 10 picnic blanket, um, and it's also show center, so that's a front row seat for the show. Great place to come. And all throughout the venue, you'll have food fest, all, all the food, all the vendors, interactive activities. We have our Akama military zone down on the South Great Lawn and lots of uh, different displays and stuff to keep you entertained. That's our thunder on the ground area. So it's not just entertainment in the sky for thunder. We also have stuff thunder on the ground. So really stuff going on all day, all different viewing areas. Um, along the river, um, get a Pegasus pin, and come down and join us on Saturday. 
If you don't have a Pegasus pin, can you buy one here to get in? You can buy a pin here. They're $10 at the entrance to events. You can grab them on the way in at a gas station or grocery store for $7 before you get to the show. I love it because there is just so many different ways to experience it, right? Like if you want that quieter out of the, the crowd kind of area, have that. And I bet every year, kind of when this wraps up, you guys are already thinking ahead to what can we do next year to you actually listen to, there goes an earring, that you actually listen to what people are saying about their experience and you take it in and, and regroup. We really do, and that thunder and the waterfront have grown together. And as the waterfront expands, so does our crowd. And we see them moving east and west to see the show because there, there's not really a bad view either way. And, and we do tell folks when you're coming down to the show, it is a day-long event. So we, we start moving at 9 o'clock. It goes till 10 when the fireworks end. So if you're bringing little ones, you might want to plan, you know, are you going to be here for the whole day? But all the details on our website, check it out, see, you know, when you want to come, where you want to go. But there's plenty to do all day long on Saturday. Amy, thank you again for helping us with this entire show, pulling it together, because we want to make this a fun experience, a safe one for everybody this weekend and show everybody what there is to offer. All right, stay with us. More from the Gall House coming up after the break.